Six months ago to the day after a mob stormed the U.S. Capitol, two police officers had killed themselves. And Deborah Alfaron introduces us to a veteran officer who considered it, but is now coming forward to help other officers. We were not expecting that. It was, it was just horrible. K-9 officer Guido Medina says he'll never forget the tear gas, the flashbangs, and the utter violence he battled on January 6th. You cannot forget a day like that. You can never forget a day like that. As the days went by, the Navy veteran says shock turned to shame. Grief over loss after loss turned to anger. He says one night, those thoughts and feelings swirled into a hopeless haze. I was trying to open my gun locker downstairs because uh, I wanted to, you know, kill myself. My wife said that the day I was banging on this here, I to open it up. I was keep pressing, keep pressing, and nothing was going on. I was keep banging and banging. Turns out the battery on the lock was, was dead. Yeah. It had never failed him in 14 years. Call that fate or God? I'm not a religious person, so, you know, my God saved me that day. You ready? Medina is now getting help. He learned he'd already been suffering from PTSD after a shooting years All right. earlier. All right. He's on leave and routinely takes healing walks in the park with his wife and their dogs. Okay, he says Barnes. others are likely feeling the same way he did. We don't want to share, you know, that we are in pain because, you know, that will be, you know, saying that we are weak. And why do you want to share this story now? I talked to my doctor about it. I wanted to uh, share my story so I can help other first responders send a message that it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. Medina says he hopes to return to the job he's been working for 20 plus years. Right now, he's working on healing. Let's go home. It's good and says part of here, that okay? is giving others hope. Good job. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Annapolis, Maryland. So nice to hear his story. And but no shame in coming forward. Mm -hmm. What he went through that day was beyond traumatic yeah. for a lot of people. It's okay to reach out and get help. Yeah,